What if we want to improve uh, the user experience? Uh, we can use uh, the proximity in this case. We do not need to connect uh, the PC or uh, the phone in this case uh, to the IoT device. Then the feature that uh, is really interesting about the NFC communication is the device could be switched off. So there is no need to power up uh, the device in order to write uh, an NFC memory. So this is something that can be used in several use cases. Good afternoon everybody, I am uh, Simone and uh, I'm really happy to be here as a speaker today and uh, I also uh, would like to thank you to be here today to attend this topic. Uh, I will uh, uh, say that uh, you can enjoy uh, what, we, uh, what I will show you about uh, corporate setup, so basically how you can use uh, a technology that was discovered 20 years ago, that's the uh, near field communication technology and how you can integrate inside your application using the Swift API that are provided by the Apple ecosystem. So, uh, jump straight to the uh, agenda of the today talk. Uh, a quick introduction about uh, uh, me and myself, uh, the mobile uh, team that uh, I'm working on, uh, I'm working with uh, at Comedy Group. So let's start to uh, have some uh, introduction to the near field communication technology, what it is and what you can do uh, in terms of uh, which use cases you can cover with the use of the NFC technology. Uh, let's see, uh, go deeply uh, inside the rabbit hole and see how uh, the core NFC, so the library that can use inside the Apple uh, ecosystem, let you interact with uh, NFC tags or NFC uh, devices. Then we will see some example code. Uh, basically, we will see uh, some read and write uh, examples. We, uh, I would like also to show you uh, a case study. So basically starting from uh, a use case that maybe all of you uh, knows today or are used to uh, how we can improve this use case with the introduction or the leverage of uh, the NFC technology. Then some security consideration. So uh, security comes uh, uh, in mind of every engineer uh, nowadays. So we can also take a look at the NFC communication from a security point of view and look how you can uh, use some security features that are provided by the NFC tags, how you can uh, use it inside your application. And some, then some conclusion and uh, takeaways. So uh, I'm Simone Muti, I am the mobile technical leader at uh, Comedy Group. Uh, it's the first time uh, here as a speaker at Swift Heroes. So uh, it's uh, an honor to be here and uh, uh, be gentle uh, with the question at the end. Uh, speaking about a little bit myself, uh, I'm more interested in uh, iOS and Android programming. I'm a little bit uh, interested in uh, security and uh, I have fun building uh, new, stuff, new stuff using uh, these technologies. Just a quick introduction also to the Comedy Group, so where I work uh, with, my, uh, with my team, the mobile application team. Comedy Group is an international uh, product, is an international comedy that builds products. So basically Comedy Group is present in different markets, so video door entry, entry intrusion, home automation systems and so on. And uh, we built in-house both the hardware of these products and uh, the firmware the cloud services, the mobile application, of course, uh, leveraging uh, the uh, cutting edge technologies, so in this case Swift uh, or uh, uh, other technologies like Rust and so on. So in order to let our customers uh, use the latest technology and uh, fulfill our business needs. So let's go uh, with the uh, first definition that uh, you will find inside these slides. There are just two, so don't be afraid. Uh, of this. So what is near field communication? If you uh, think about it, uh, this is something that uh, maybe you use every day. So if you have your smartphone in your pocket, uh, maybe, maybe you used to uh, buy something or uh, you go to the gate of the metro and uh, you unlock the gate uh, with your phone. This is basically uh, what you can uh, achieve using the NFC technology. 
but uh, starting from uh, the definition, the NFC uh, technology or a communication is a set of uh, communication protocols that uh, lets two devices communicate each other. The only constraints that you have is that they have to be in proximity. So they need to have uh, close enough each other, so four or five centimeters, depending on uh, uh, the radio frequency that you are using. <clears throat> The uh, NFC is based on uh, some standards, uh, and uh, all of these standards are based on the RFID technology. So basically, it's a radio frequency technology, and uh, uh, the entity behind the near field uh, communication is uh, the NFC forum that define the standards and keep the effort uh, to um, keep this technology up to date with the use cases uh, that uh, we, uh, we have nowadays. So here you can see some examples. So as I said, uh, with your smartphone, you can pay for something. Or thanks to the uh, size uh, of NFC tags, so it's just an antenna and uh, a chip that uh, lets you store uh, some information, you can also embed these NFC tags inside, inside stickers. Or uh, some use cases, you can enrich the user experience. So if you buy a bottle of wine, you can maybe check uh, some information about the wine, and this information can be stored inside the NFC tag, and you can read uh, with, uh, with your phone. Just a uh, brief uh, uh, introduction to the stack where the <laughs> NFC uh, is built. So basically, it's built of different, uh, different uh, radio frequency technologies. So here we have uh, the NF NF NFC F, NFC V, and so on. And uh, uh, basically, every manufacturer can build uh, uh, its own type of tags. Okay, NXP built the this fire tags uh, and uh, uh, the Felica tags. Uh, uh, the Felica tags. Uh, so the Type Three is mostly used in Japan. Uh, there are another one that is uh, based on the NFC V. So these are all uh, different kind of uh, tags, uh, and they have different capabilities in uh, term of uh, performance. So the throughput that uh, uh, they have in the exchange of information. Uh, I don't want to uh, go into details of, uh, of this because it's out of topic of uh, this presentation. But basically, um, what uh, we have today, thanks to the NFC uh, forum uh, effort, is that for each type of tag, they have defined a, a common format, and uh, this is called the NFC data exchange format. It's basically a wrapper uh, around uh, every tag. So it's a common way to let uh, uh, developers uh, or application, basically, uh, to communicate uh, with the NFC technology, okay? This is uh, uh, basically the standard way. But uh, uh, then, if we communicate uh, with an NFC uh, tag, which are the uh, modes that we can use. So basically, the NFC uh, communication modes are uh, three. So the first one is uh, uh, the card emulation. So basically, as I said before, the common example is uh, uh, the smartphone, where you can uh, basically your, uh, read your credit card and then let the phone act as a uh, credit card. So basically, it's uh, act as a contactless smart card. And this is one operation mode. The other, the other one is the read and write. So basically you have a tag and you can read the content, modify something and write it back. And then there is, there is also uh, the third one. That's uh, the peer-to-peer -peer, uh, mode where uh, you can establish a two-way communication between the two devices in order to exchange uh, uh, some data. Right now, uh, inside the NFC uh, core uh, library, so the, the library provided by uh, Apple, so the, uh, this ecosystem, you have the APIs just to uh, use the read and write operation. So right now, this talk uh, will speak about just the read and write operation mode. But uh, how uh, we end up today with uh, the uh, core NFC uh, capability, basically. So. Uh, the uh, way it was uh, uh, started at uh, WWDC 17, where the core NFC was introduced. At, at that time, the um, only um, 
feature that was provided was the, was the ability to read a tag. There was no write support for the tag, and also you need to uh, develop your own application in order to read the tag. The application has to be in foreground, uh, it has to be uh, initialized by the user, so it was uh, really limited, uh, the functionalities that you can use uh, from the core and C uh, library. Basically, uh, there was a, a big change at WWC19 when uh, also the write support was, was added to the core NFC and then uh, also uh, other kind of uh, tags. So different uh, NFC uh, standards uh, was adopted by the core NFC. So in this case, uh, the uh, functionalities uh, was increased a lot inside the uh, core NFC library. And then uh, we can uh, uh, go almost uh, uh, today at the WWC20, where uh, there was, uh, uh, let's say, a refactor of the currency library, and uh, right now we have a more uh, swift, friendly APIs in order to use the, uh, the NFC methods, so you can use the results and uh, other features that we will see uh, in the example uh, in a few seconds, and then uh, was added other uh, kind of tags. So, Right now, uh, for most of the use cases, uh, the core NFC is enough in order to uh, let you build a feature in order to interact with a, an NFC uh, tag. So, what uh, uh, the core NFC then is uh, uh, composed by several classes and protocols. So, the base uh, class that you can find is the reader session. You have three kinds of reader session. Uh, basically, this depends on uh, the uh, type of tags that you want to read or write. So, if you want to deal with the NNDF uh, tag, you need to uh, use the uh, NFC NDF uh, reader session for sure. Otherwise, if you have another kind of tag, so basically it's based on uh, other standards, uh, you need to use the NFC tag reader session. Otherwise, there is uh, the third option, that's the NFC uh, VAS reader session, the value added service. And uh, uh, this is uh, uh, really uh, limited in the functionality that provide because uh, it's, uh, uh, it will be used for uh, um, communicating with the VAS protocol, that is the one that is used by uh, the readers uh, that are Apple certificated in order to pay, okay? So this is uh, uh, the last, um, the, uh, the third uh, class that you can find inside the reader session uh, domain. Then we have several protocols uh, and uh, all of them are specific to the type of tag that you want to deal with. So if I want to deal with an NNDEV tag, then you need to choose the uh, NFC and dev tag protocol in order to interact with it. Otherwise, you need to choose uh, the right one, okay? You can't uh, mix up uh, uh, the protocols that you have inside the core NFC with uh, the tag that uh, you want to deal with. So uh, this was uh, uh, what is inside the core NFC uh, library. So let's start uh, uh, to look at uh, how to uh, use the core NFC. So basically, you can, uh, if you want to use the NFC functionalities inside your application, you need to uh, set up your Xcode project. So you need to uh, set up uh, the NFC uh, tag reading capability, both on the Xcode project and on uh, the developer console for your application ID. And then uh, remember also to update your info list with the NFC uh, scan user description, otherwise uh, nothing will work, okay. And the last step that you want, uh, you need to take care, is that basically uh, you need to deal also with uh, uh, devices that maybe uh, doesn't have the NFC capability. So thanks to uh, the core NFC library, you can uh, leverage the use of a Boolean variable in this case, that's the reading available that it's uh, uh, provided by uh, each of uh, the reader session uh, objects. So basically you can check if the hardware is uh, capable of uh, uh, handling uh, the NFC technology. If it's not, uh, okay, you can show a message to the user and uh, say, sorry, uh, we can provide this feature to you. It's uh, uh, not our fault, uh, the, hour, the hardware doesn't support it. So if uh, we pass this check, uh, we can create a reader session. So in this case, imagine 
that we want to interact with an NNDEF uh, tag. And uh, uh, then we uh, need to instantiate an NNDEF reader session. And uh, uh, it's quite simple. Uh, you need to pass three parameters. Uh, the first one is, uh, uh, is uh, thanks to the delegate uh, pattern, you need to pass uh, NNC and def reader session delegate, and you need to adopt it. Uh, basically, then you have the second parameter, that's a queue, and uh, where all the um, callbacks coming from the, co the protocol are dispatched. And then there is also a flag that uh, uh, they invalidate after first read. Basically, this flag uh, is used to uh, stop the session after the first read. Otherwise, uh, you can read multiple tags at the same time. So this is kind of, I want to read just one time, uh, I want to uh, read just one tag. We can put uh, uh, true, so after the first read, after the successful first read, we can stop the uh, session. Otherwise, we keep going and uh, continue reading. Then. We can also add uh, a, uh, an alert message and we will see how graphically will be used by the operating system and then we can start the session with the begin uh, method. Uh, speaking a little bit about uh, uh, the delegate protocol here, we have four callbacks to, uh, to implement if you want. Uh, the first one is the reader session did become active, that it's called when the session began and uh, uh, so you can be sure that the session is active and uh, uh, you are ready to operate with the NRC technology. Uh, the second one, the reader session did invalidate with error, is used when something wrong happens, or uh, basically you were able to read uh, the NMC tag, but uh, you put true at the invalidate uh, uh, after first read. So uh, we will see in a few seconds uh, how to deal with it. And then the last two methods, uh, the, the last two um, callbacks, uh, are used to retrieve uh, the message inside the tag. So the reader session uh, did the tag N and F is basically used to, I do not want to interact with the tag, but I'm just interested in the content inside the tag, so I can retrieve it directly. Otherwise, you can use uh, the last one, the last method, the reader session uh, did detect where you can get the tag object and then thanks uh, to the protocol that we saw before, we can uh, really interact with the tag. So we can query the tag in order, we can query the tag in order to, uh, I don't know, know the status, know if it's a read-only uh, tag, if it's writable and so on. So getting some information from, uh, from the tag. Uh, if you uh, began a, a reader session, this is basically the UI that you will see. So the operating system will uh, come up with a button sheet and uh, here you can see uh, the alert message and then uh, there is a, uh, an animation and then if you find an NNDEF tag, okay, you will get a check mark and then you can have the content of uh, uh, the NMC tag. But what happens if uh, uh, something went wrong during the uh, reader, during the reading? So basically, as uh, uh, we saw before, the reader session did invalidate with error is uh, triggered. And then here, uh, you, in the uh, error object, you have the possible, read, the possible reasons of uh, why is, uh, something went wrong. So, uh, so um, basically, an error occurred during the reading session. So the tag was lost or uh, uh, the application uh, uh, crashed, so whatever. It can be uh, handled in that case. Otherwise, uh, another error that uh, you can uh, face is that the user cancel manually uh, the session. So this is another uh, kind of error that you need to take care. Or, as I said before, we was successfully in the reading of the NFC tag, but uh, the invalidate after first read was true. So automatically, the uh, operating system uh, gives you uh, the information about the tag, but then uh, close, invalidate the session, so you can continue to interact with the tag. And uh, uh, remember that uh, whenever you have a, an error or uh, the uh, session was successfully, you need to uh, instantiate a new session if you want to read again uh, a new tag. 
Another cool feature that you have inside uh, the Apple ecosystem and uh, is based on the use of the NNDEF formatted tags. So that's called background tag reading. So basically, if you want to read uh, an NNDEF tag, you do not need to install a specific application. The operating system can handle uh, for you all the scan and the read uh, of the NNDEF uh, formatted tag. Basically, uh, you, when you uh, scan this, uh, this kind of tag uh, through the operating system, you get a notification on, the, uh, on, on your iPhone, and then from that uh, you can interact uh, with the content of uh, the tag. So in this case, uh, there was a tag uh, that contains a link that brings you uh, to a web page. So basically, uh, the operating system automatically scan and read the tag and post the notification with the content of the tag. There are some limitations uh, about uh, this background tag reading feature. So basically, if you end up on uh, one of these cases, so the airplane mode is on, or you're recording a video, or uh, you are using the uh, wallet application, this feature is switched off, it's not, uh, uh, it's not available uh, in these cases. So, uh, we spoke about the, uh, how to read uh, a tag. What about uh, if you want to write it back something inside this tag? So, the uh, initialization is the same as uh, uh, the reader session, but basically, when you uh, got the callback, the reader session did detect that contains the NF in this case, the NNDEF tag, you can use the session to connect directly to the tag, okay? And if the connection was successfully, then in this case, you can query uh, the tag and, uh, for example, see the status of the tag. So if it's uh, uh, something wrong with the, uh, with the tag, so the tag is not supported or the tag is just read-only, so we can know something about the memory uh, inside this, uh, this tag or if the tag is a read and write tag, so we can try to uh, write something. In this case, uh, we create, uh, uh, due to the fact that we are dealing with a N uh, NFC and def tag, we can create an NFC and def message that contains a set of records. And in this case, we just put the hello world uh, string and we uh, use the tag dot uh, write and def message in order to write it back to the tag. And uh, as you can see, if you want to uh, read or uh, write a tag, an NNDEF tag, uh, this is quite simple. Uh, you have a lot of APIs, uh, Swift-like, uh, Swift-friendly APIs, and the Core NFC provides all the supports and all the documentation if you want to deal with it. Um, then, what if we want to uh, take uh, this read and write operation inside uh, real use cases? So basically, uh, in uh, uh, today's world, if you want to deal with an IoT device, the uh, worst scenario is that uh, you want to configure something on this device and you need to use a PC and a wire connection to this uh, IoT device. This, as I said, this is the uh, worst scenario. and. Uh, Basically, uh, you need to get a wired connection to the, uh, to the IoT device, and also the IoT device has to be switched on, okay? So these are the uh, two main uh, cons uh, for this uh, use case, for this uh, case study. What if we want to improve uh, the user experience? So basically, we can leverage the use of the NFC because uh, we can use uh, uh, the proximity in this case, so we do not need to have a PC, we can use a smartphone, and we do not need to uh, connect the PC, or uh, the phone in this case, uh, to the IoT device. Then, the feature that uh, is really interesting about the NFC communication is that the device could be switched off. So there is no need to power up the device in order to write an NFC memory. Okay, so this is something that it's really interested, really interesting, and uh, can be used in several use cases if uh, we think about uh, uh, IoT devices. 
So if we want to go deep a little bit about this case study, and uh, uh, we want to use a specific NFC tag, so we can use the uh, latest technology about the NFC tag, that's the NFC V, and these kind of tags uh, are organized uh, by blocks. So basically you can imagine you have a memory inside this tag, and if you want uh, to put, uh, to write something inside this, uh, this tag, you need to deal with the blocks inside uh, the tag. So basically, you can have uh, one, two, three, depending on the memory size of the uh, of the tag, several blocks, and uh, you can make requests and get answers from the tag when you are connected. So basically, when you have the session and you can connect to the tag. And uh, uh, the request is quite simple, let's say. You have a set of flags, uh, the command, and the parameters. and uh, the answer is, uh, again, the, says the command that you send, also the parameter uh, in response. So again, we can leverage the use of the Core MC uh, library in order to deal also with uh, uh, this kind of tag. And uh, uh, in this case, we are interested in uh, the ISO 15693 uh, tag. That's just uh, an example. This is uh, uh, one of the uh, widespread NFC tags that you can find uh, everywhere. And is also interested uh, this kind of tag because it has some security features that you can leverage in order to rise uh, your bar from a security point of view. And uh, again, nothing changed from the NFDEF uh, tag. So basically you can use the NFC tag reader session and you can initialize this session, in this case, uh, um, during the initialization, you can say, I'm just interested in the uh, ISO 15693 tag. So I want to scan just this, that kind of tag. And then, as always, as before, you need to adopt the NFC uh, tag reader session delegate. In this case, you have just three uh, methods to implement that did become active. So again, uh, when the session uh, become active, you get triggered you have the other method that you can use in order to deal with errors uh, and so on. And then the last one, that's the uh, interesting one, let's say, is uh, uh, triggered when uh, you uh, read the tag. So basically you can be triggered when you scan and find uh, an NFC uh, tag. In this case, again, uh, we can uh, get the tag and check if the tag is the one that we want to use it we can connect to the tag, and then, uh, again, uh, Core MC comes at uh, uh, our uh, at home rescue because we can use uh, several methods that are, uh, let's say, uh, compliant with the standard of the tag that we are using. So we can uh, use uh, a simple methods to, for example, read a simple block of this tag, read multiple blocks, read a block that uh, that it's at this address, uh, so we can, uh, we have uh, several methods that we can use in order to interact uh, and uh, do whatever we want uh, with uh, uh, with this tag. And uh, as you can see, nothing changed from uh, the example before uh, about the NDEF, uh, uh, NDEF session, apart from the method that you can use in order to interact with the, with the tag. So uh, we know how to read and write a tag. So what about uh, the security? Because uh, uh, if I connect to the tag, there is a communication uh, under the hood. So I would like to have some security feature and uh, maybe uh, the tag uh, contains some non-privacy information, but sometimes the tag contains uh, some uh, uh, privacy information or some information that has to be secured. In this case, uh, the, uh, the tag that we took as an example, uh, provides also mutual authentication. So basically in the communication, we have two parties and we can uh, be sure to authenticate uh, each other. So in this case, uh, we know uh, the two parties are authenticated and uh, we can uh, be sure that the one that is trying to write uh, is uh, something that uh, we know. We, if uh, you, uh, in order to do that, uh, we can use again, uh, several methods that comes from the core MC, so the authenticate, uh, the key update, uh, if you want to use a 
public-private key uh, infrastructure, or uh, also you can use the challenge. So basically, you have some, something like the HTTPS, so you can have a challenger response in order to implement the mutual authentication uh, when you want to interact uh, with uh, an NMC uh, tag. So this is, uh, uh, and as also, as you can see, the request is the same as before. The only thing is that uh, there is a new uh, block that can handle the authentication between the device uh, and uh, the NFC tag. And this is, uh, I mean, some security feature that uh, I would like to highlight uh, if uh, uh, you need to use it. Uh, uh, the NFC uh, tags are based on standards, so are well documented. You can uh, find online everything. You can uh, find online also examples on how to use it. Uh, it's well supported by the Apple ecosystem, so the Core NFC library is, again, well documented. Uh, you can go through uh, the methods and uh, see what it what they does and uh, uh, play a little bit with them. Is also uh, NFC can be used in several use cases. So in this case, we see uh, the read and write of a tag. Tomorrow we can uh, maybe interact with the VAS protocol, so we can. Uh, go inside the uh, Apple protocol in order to maybe get some information. And uh, uh, it's quite simple to implement it, to use it inside your application, uh, unless uh, you need to deal with the security, some security feature. In that case, uh, you need to uh, go deep maybe in the standard and uh, uh, see what the standard provides in terms of uh, uh, security feature in that case. So. Uh, Hope you enjoyed the talk. Hope you uh, get some information about the NFC and uh, uh, what you can do inside your application. And uh, more than happy to answer your questions.